So, kurze Pause ist kurz. Und ich finde ja, wenn man in der dunklen Wohnung aufs Klo geht und den Ventilator am Schlafzimmer für irgendein Vieh hält, dann reicht das an Horrorspielen. Aber ich habe hier ja noch so ein anderes Spiel offen. Man könnte es als Horror sehen, weil wir immer wieder das Gleiche tun und doch etwas anderes bei rauskommt. Also wie wäre es dann mit The Stanley Parable? Alternativ... Denn ich glaube, ich könnte jetzt den Bucket of Reassurance, hieß er, glaube ich, könnte ich jetzt ganz gut gebrauchen. Äh, bitte passe den Regler so an, dass der Computer gerade noch sichtbar ist. Also bei mir ist er tatsächlich gerade noch sichtbar. Für euch natürlich sehr gut, weil OBS etwas heller eingestellt ist. Bitte passe den Regler so an, dass der Hund und die Katze... Oh, ja, ja, dass sie Freunde werden. Bitte passe den Regler so an, dass die Nummer 5 zur Nummer 9 wird. 5. Ah, oh, okay. Äh, das ist eine 9. Ja. Das ist auch eine 9. Auch das ist eine 9. Das ist ein Haus. Ich nehme diese 9. <lacht> äh, bitte passe den Regler so an, bis du aufhörst den Regler an. Das macht Sinn. So. Welches dieser beiden ausgedachten Wörter findest du ansprechender? Oku Boinkal oder Skrumtusch? Oh, ich kann mich nicht entscheiden, sie klingen beide sehr gut. Welches Wort klingt wohl besser? Oku Boinkal oder Skrumtusch? Viel schöner wäre doch, was sind die Definitionen davon? Dürfen wir uns das selber aussuchen? Ich glaube, ich nehme Oku Boinkal. Eindeutig. Das ist total Oku Boinkal. Oh nein, ihr Tama wollte es krumm. Mach. Bitte passe den Regler nicht an. Da. Das andere hört sich nach Obskur an. Aber da ist Oink mit drin. Also Schweinchen. Weißt du, welche Uhrzeit es gerade ist? Ja, ich glaube schon. Ist die Uhrzeit die es gerade ist, die korrekte Uhrzeit. Ja. Ich denke schon. Was ist Zeit überhaupt? Ja. Gibt es etwas über dich, das du mir noch nicht erzählt hast? Bestimmt ganz viel. Hilfe. Ja. Auch das ist richtig. Wirst du zurückkommen, um mich zu besuchen? Sicherlich. Ich glaube nicht, dass ich das Spiel heute noch durchspiele. Also vermutlich. Stanley Parable 2. Oh Gott, was habe ich zuletzt gemacht in diesem Spiel, dass da jetzt Stanley Parable 2 steht? Das Spiel beginnt. Ich weiß nur noch, wir hatten einen Eimer. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where Ballons. he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was, was happy. happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. 
Ja. Ach ja, hier. Äh, Figurine Finders Committee. Meeting today in the meeting room. Stimmt, wir müssen kleine Stanley-Figuren finden. All of ja, his co-workers were ja gone. Was. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ach ja, die gehen ja nicht auf. Meeting today. Aber wo finde ich die? Der Eimer. Mein Eimer. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms. Oh, mein and Eimer. And a wave of comfort rushed over him. Get well someday. Der beste Glückwünsche-Ballon, den es gibt. Was habe ich denn alles noch nicht gemacht mit meinem Eimer? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Ja, weil wir müssen zum Meetingraum. Ist richtig. Erzählstimme. Wir müssen Stanleyreens finden. How we can find them? Ja. We need more plans. <lacht> Warehouse Access Plan. Oh. Lagerhaus Zutrittsplan. Eine Planke herstellen, die es erlaubt, äh, über den Zaun zu kommen. Eine Brücke konstruieren. Äh, to allow collection of shiny float. Die es erlaubt, dass glänzende, fliegende, schwebende Ding zu sammeln. <lacht> Chris's Überreste vom Boden des Lagerhauses aufsammeln, weil er wahrscheinlich abstürzen wird. Äh, und eine neue strukturelle Geräuschbrücke konstruieren. Okay. <lacht> Orte, an denen wir suchen müssen. Schreibe ich mir das auf? <lacht> Lol, looks like number, uh, looks like 4 to 7. Hahaha. <lacht> ja, es ist ja auch unsere. Es ist unser Merch. Five, there be. Just take it from me. Gotta collect them all. Pokémon. Ist das zum kind of game? There must be a point to this. Ja, der, der Sinn dahinter ist, sie zu sammeln. Punkt. Also wir haben schon die... In der großen Ausstellung, das ist richtig. A private but smelly place for an important person. Ja, das Klo vom Chef. Ein großer Raum, viele Boxen, das müsste das Lager sein. Treppen. Hat irgendwas mit Treppen zu tun. Okay, ich glaube, ich weiß, welche Treppen. Äh, irgendwo, wo rot und blau ist und in der Nähe eines Kamins. Dann habe ich mir das alles merke. Vertraue dem Instinkt des Vervollständigers. Figlays, are hard to find. We can do it. Red Room? Ja, genau. Sie hießen Figlays oder Stanleyreens. Richtig, richtig. Weird Spinning Figurines. Oh Gott. Ja, ich muss die Figuren sammeln. Eimer, wir müssen... Figuren sammeln. Hier drin Stanley, weiß ich schon, ne? Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet. Simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Oh nein. Aber, aber es macht ja nichts. Da steht ja schon drauf, pro pro Property of Stanley. Wenn ich jetzt nochmal reingehe? Sagt er nichts mehr. Okay, schade. Treppen. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Nein, nein. Treppen und rot. Oh. Ähm, Another also, Mr. Stanley figurine. This um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanleyreens? Yes. Ja. I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Auf Deutsch klingt das kacke, ich bleib bei Stanlerine. Aber wir gehen. Wo? Nein, weil da waren wir ja schon. Wir bleiben hier unten. But Stanley just couldn't do it. 
He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. No. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's What's... just a normal, everyday bucket. No, someone I'm... else's bucket, perhaps. <gasps> How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of What's bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. What's my nightmare? Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. What's... Oh, gracious. Ooh. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where no. is it? I must find it. Who's Far driver? off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. <gasps> Could it truly be? A... He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None I'm of a... them were his. None of I'm them a... were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. So he had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had aus been coming Herzen. from. Oder aus the real Niere. bucket was inside of him all along. In my mind. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. My Eimer. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, <laughs> and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. Ich gehe mir of gleich morgen Eimer kaufen. No there were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she <laughs> backflipped all the way to work. Und alle klatschten, das fehlt noch. Dass alle geklatscht haben. Weil das so eine sportliche Meisterleistung von ihr war. Okay, das Meeting ist immer noch im Meeting Room. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had the confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Yeah. And here it was. Ah, Had the mal, bucket Eimer. turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Oh, du mein Kaffee. Der magische Kaffeespawner hat funktioniert. Kaffee. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. So ein Stanley Kaffee reflected nice. on all they'd been through together. First, Walking through the door on the right, then walking to the lounge, then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. <laughs> Und alle haben gelacht. Und no, geklatscht. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Oh, 
da. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Hangen das da schon immer? Ich weiß es gar nicht mehr. Aber das hier ist neu. Oh, ähm. Oh, eine Stanlerine! Stürze ich von hier immer noch in den Tod? Ich meine, ich bin ja schon ein bisschen tiefer als der Cargo-Lift. Wow. Ja! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? Figli. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? <coughs> Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Figley. Wobei Stan Lorene hat auch seinen Charme. Es klingt beides toll. Uh, uh, nur nicht runterfallen. Und rein hier. Wow! Bin ich doch runtergefallen. Ähm. Okay, was ist das bitte für eine Zeichnung? Ähm. Beware the referee of pain. Help, help. The striped shirt savage is tearing off my arm. Ow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm too confused. Um. Wo bin ich hier? Videokassetten? Uh, was steht da drauf? Narrator Dialog. Oh. Dann sind das keine Videokassetten, sondern einfach nur sehr große normale Kassetten. <lacht> Musikkassetten, nur halt mit Narrator Dialog. Lost Cat, there is a reward. Jean. Mm. Es gibt sogar eine Belohnung. Also geh sie jetzt suchen. Ähm. War das klug? Ich hätte mich noch mehr umgucken sollen. Okay. This is day number 295. Take number. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes the sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up no matter how many times I've done it it's always the same feeling and the emptiness in my chest when I set it down it doesn't make sense There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Nice. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Ach so, ja, dann schon. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. What's that? Who's there? Was? Kumbaya, mein Lord? Oh, 
Okay, was auch immer das für ein Ende war. Ging es da noch woanders hin? Okay, äh, ja, okay. All these co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Yeah. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Ah. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Nein, ich fahre hier mal. Ich wollte gerade sagen, ich muss mal gucken, ob ich äh, wo ich noch suchen kann nach Figleys oder Stanleyins. Ah, ich bin mir immer noch nicht sicher, was oh, besser klingt. Good Stanley, I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. We care about you, Stanley. Nein, der Pfeil zeigt nur nach unten. Ich kann nicht wieder hochfahren. You see, ähm. your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. Was? Mein Eimer. The bucket ähm, isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom mm. Closet. Because that's Die what fans line. want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Aber yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Aber Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We can make the ja. adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Wirklich? Aber kann ich vorher? Ja! Okay, Eimer, komm, Adventure Line. Frau, es tut mir leid. Rechner, es tut mir leid. Warum ist der Anspitzer hier? Den habe ich nie als Freund akzeptiert. Adventure Line. Hm. Whee! Mit Musik. Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Ja. Ja! Nur mit der Musik ist es die Adventure Line. Da, 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 da. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't halt die Fresse, you remember ich will Musik. all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <lacht> yes. It's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Nein, nicht mein Eimer. Ich will wieder die Adventureline Musik, aber ich gebe nicht mein Eimer her. Mein Eimer. Eimer und ich, wir wollen heiraten. Akzeptiert das doch einfach. Ein Telefon. Don't you get it, Stanley? Nein. We need to get rid of the bucket. Nein. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Nein. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, Nein. it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Nein. Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Er macht Say Stanley goodbye reads? to the Bucket and then Oder pop it into ist? the machine when you're ready. Nein. Ich kann nicht mal gehen. Adventure Line, du hast mich Now hintergangen. Listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. Nein. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying Nein. buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. 
Okay, the bucket destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable Dad. Have you got the adventure oh. line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket? Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and quick. Fans wollen den Eimer. In unzerstört. Punkt. Spielen, nicht wenn ich gerade Kaffee trinke. Bucket Destroyer. My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you. Tell such spellbinding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Aber ich habe noch den Eimer. Das ist alles, was zählt. Okay, jetzt muss ich mal wirklich mal in den Meeting Room und gucken, wo ich noch. Ja, Stanley Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Kann. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Weil wir könnten auch noch durchs Lager Stanley durch. Wahrscheinlich kommt da noch mal eine. His... This was not the correct Figur. way to the meeting room. Maybe. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Ja, Had the bucket ist turned out to be correct? Was it? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left Nein. to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go Good, lang, said the ja. bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's Nein. something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had oh, spoken oh, to oh, him, oh, and he gegangen. unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I have no key card for it. Shame. Danger! Danger everywhere! Yep. Cargo. Okay. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, mm. there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets pass this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Ja, gleich. Erstmal, uh, hallo. Ich werde es wahrscheinlich falsch aussprechen. Man möge es mir verzeihen. Sans the Skeleton? Oder ist das S stumm am Ende? Äh, ob der einmal verwandt ist mit Wilson aus Castaway? Ich glaube nicht. Ist ja schon ganz anderes Material als so ein Volleyball? Wilson war ein Volleyball, ne? Ich glaube schon. Ist lange her, der Film. Is this a bucket? Now then. I'm going um. to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simple enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Okay. Item one. Is this a bucket? Sieht zumindest so aus. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket. Not an actual bucket. Oh, wie gemein. Item 2. Is this a bucket? Ja. Incorrect. It oh. is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Aber <laughs> es ist trotzdem ein Eimer. 
Item 3. Is this a bucket? Yeah. Correct. This is a bucket. Siehst du? Siehst du? Ich erkenne doch einen Eimer, wenn ich ihn sehe. Item 4. Is this a bucket? Hallo, ich verstehe die Frage nicht. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an Nein. enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just incredible. move on to the next one. Alles kann ein Eimer sein. Hallo? <laughs> is this a bucket? Ja. Correct. This is a bucket. Siehst du? Siehst du, alles kann ein Eimer sein. Alles. Item 6. Is this a bucket? Ja. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Hä? Okay. Wieso beides? Wieso ja und Item nein? Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Ja. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless in your twisted mind have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Aber eigentlich ist alles ein Eimer. Aber wenn alles ein Eimer ist, dann ist auch das Nichts ein Eimer. You know what? I'm too confused <lacht> to even sort it out. <lacht> ich auch. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Ja. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Nein. I can't have that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm going to erase all buckets from the game in time. Nein! Mein okay. Eimer! Here we go. Mein Eimer? Nein? Wehe, mein Eimer ist jetzt What weg. happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait... Was everything a bucket? Yeah. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Yeah. Oh my God, I had no idea. Doch. Alles kann ein Eimer sein. Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Ja, This halt mir doch meine Fehler vor. We're not buckets. Ich wäre yes, so gerne ein Eimer. I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what... I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Yeah. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if yeah. you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Bitte. Alles, was das Auge erblickt, sind Eimer. Da ich mich selbst nicht angucken kann in diesem Spiel, bin ich auch kein Eimer. Gone. Tasten. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The good old bucket. Ja. Just Stanley and the bucket. Ja. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Ja. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly Nein. to his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Doch, But Stanley had felt Meeting the Raum. bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it Jetzt was. Gehen wir had the bucket Lager. turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The yeah. cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Yeah. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Ja, natürlich. Wer würde das nicht tun? 
Kann ich eigentlich nicht einmal in den Tod stürzen? Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Urgent. Employees should never under any circumstances attempt to... Was sollen Mitarbeiter niemals tun? Mann, oh. Schade. Okay. Ah, in diesem dunklen Raum dort? Okay. Bin unterwegs einmal. Wie du wünschst. Ein Telefon. Now halt. pick up the phone, said the bucket. Nein. Oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. Can't you see? Oh, oh goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it. But there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. <laughs> um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Darf ich, darf, darf ich bitte raus? What <laughs> is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These okay. are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half. Pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Okay. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. Yeah. I think the fundamentals <laughs> of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Okay. Uh... Warte mal, was? Hey, ich bin noch gar nicht runtergesprungen. Wieso hat es jetzt ein Gitter? 
Wahrscheinlich damit ich jetzt nicht runterspringe. This time I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Okay. I'm Danny with the funny. <laughs> Alles andere ist nicht hängen geblieben. Also den ganzen Weg erstmal zurück. Okay. Here we go. You yeah. ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Nein. Klang so, als ob die hinter mir auch noch aufging. Äh, da ist schwarz. Wieso? Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. Um. I don't know what's going on. There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling well. I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When <clears throat> Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Nein. Natürlich nicht. Ähm, der Flur sieht so leer aus. Und Telefon. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. <lacht> Here we go. Sich das? You ready? <lacht> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Nope. Mal gucken, wie oft das geht. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Das Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. <clears throat> well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. No, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, Aber leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no Aber way I can make the comedic <coughs> timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. I'm Nein. going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? <laughs> Und täglich grüßt das Telefon, ja. Äh. Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... <clears throat> it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are er hat gar nicht den Eimer. over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame? Pale... What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal, I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I'm just... I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's Sorry, exactly Leroy. Wer ist <laughs> Leroy, der Sprecher? More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay. 
Also nicht den Stecker ziehen. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. Ja, sofern ich sie aufkriege. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine with him. Ja. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Nope. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the nope. meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. I'm a spring in the tool. Yes, go there. But Stanley feared that any path <laughs> he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Paula! Ja, ich sterbe, aber es ist mal kein Horrorspiel. Also nicht so wie letzte Woche. Wobei, ich hatte auch eine Runde... Was ist das? Welches... Welches Telefon ist es? Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Ja, das ist stimmt so. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Ja. Ich bin sehr stolz auf mich. Äh, was ich sagen wollte, Mortuary habe ich heute schon gespielt. Das hier ist gerade zum Entspannen. Good bucket. A strong bucket, ich habe heute Ende 1 frei gespielt. A bucket of culture and distinction. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to Und the doch, meeting. Doch, wir gehen jetzt noch mal zum Telefon. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the Stecker. employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No. Tut mir leid, Paula. Mind, the bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Aber ich habe ja immer noch äh drei? Nein, vier. Vier andere Enden. Drei Enden habe ich jetzt freigespielt, no, vier habe ich noch. Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Is Kult of the Lamp then good? Wenn du das heute schon durch, vor allem durchgespielt? Wie lange geht denn das Spiel? In ich war da nämlich auch am überlegen, bucket. mir Go das into zu this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Weil das zumindest sehr süß aussieht. Dachte ich mir, hm, vielleicht ist das was für mich. Sehr zum... Oh, okay, dann muss ich das mal spielen. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick ja. up the... Hallo? This is the sad story of a man named Stanley ich keine and Eimer. his bucket. Was? Wo Once upon Eimer? a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Ja. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Wo ist mein Eimer? Wo ist mein Eimer? Eimer? Eimer! Hallo Stanley, ich bin es, dein Eimer. Drücke G, um mich zur Arbeit mitzunehmen. Yep. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. Eimer! It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Drücke U, um mich zurück nach Hause mitzunehmen. Aber es sieht süß aus, zumindest von den Bildern, was ich gesehen habe. Dieses Schäfchen halt. Sieht schon süß aus. <lacht> so, einmal nach Hause. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see Eimer. him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. I like I just my bike irgendwas. Ich 
kann die Tasse nicht komplett lesen. Schade. Ein Niederhack? Ja. Definitiv. Aber einmal hat leider keine Arme, um mich zu umarmen. Entschuldigung, es ist ein Lamm. Ja, kein Schäfchen. Schäfchen war gerade das erste Wort, das mir einfiel. Es ist natürlich ein Lamp und kein Schieb. Und du opferst deine Anhänger. Lässt sie Kot essen und kämpfst dich durch Dungeons. Klingt doch süß. Ich verstehe das Problem nicht. <lacht> Klingt doch total niedlich. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's Eimer? just a bucket. Eimer. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Naja, ich könnte auch einen Feststoff reinpacken. Sowas wie Sand. Oder Pflanzenteile. Ich könnte auch Menschenteile reinpacken. Ich könnte auch den Code reinpacken, den dann meine Anhänger in Cult of the Lamp fressen sollen. Okay. Hör nicht auf den lauten Mann. Drücke L, damit wir wieder nach Hause gehen. Okay. You see, Einmal. he's not listening. He's Einmal. still taking orders from the bucket. Einmal. You know, once upon a time it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. His stupid hunk of metal. Drücke X, um alle in deinem Leben außer mir zu ignorieren. Ja, Eimer. Siehst du, ich übe schon mal für Cult of the Lamb. Nur mit Eimer. From Cult of the Eimer. He's just going to cling to this bucket, Eimer. this Eimer. cold, empty bucket. Eimer. This sort of shiny bucket. Hm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Ja. Der ist mich für real, oder, Stanley? Drücke M, um wieder nach Hause zu gehen. Hallo, ich halte dich in Händen. Natürlich bist du real, Eimer. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Um, wow, Sturdier, this is a heller Fernseher. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Drücke J, um denselben Tag mit mir wieder und wieder zu erleben. Ja, Eimer, wie du wünschst. Oh my God, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. Eimer. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Drücke J, um nach Hause und zur Arbeit und nach Hause und zur Arbeit und nach Hause zu gehen. Ja, Eimer. Oh no. I'm, I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want das to be with the Eimer. bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Eimer. Do anything it asks. Eimer. What's wrong with me? Eimer. I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps also, if Eimer. I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it Nein. to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. Mein Eimer. I need it. Give it to me now. Give Schließe it to me. Schließe deine Augen. Mein Eimer. Das wird nicht erst jetzt weird. Geh zurück zur Arbeit, Stanley. Okay. Wo ist mein Eimer? All of his coworkers were gone. Die Kartons! What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Die Kartons! Sie wurden endlich geliefert! Ja! Die Kartons. Und der Eimer. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test of time. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Die Kartons. Der Eimer. What? So, wo kann ich denn jetzt noch Stanleyins finden? Somewhere both red and blue. Das müssten die beiden Türen sein. Nearby a fireplace. Im Chefbüro, natürlich. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet. Simply Aber because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Ja, das sagtest du ja schon. Mann. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ja. Was für einen weisen Spruch haben wir heute im Klo? 
I got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. Aber du willst doch mein Geld gar nicht klauen. Okay, irgendwo mit einem Kamin. Stepping into his War der Code office, nochmal? Ich weiß ihn nicht mehr. Once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual that Stanley <gasps> guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Naturally. Was the bucket guiding him? Yeah. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Es war Telepathie vom Eimer. Was? Was ging da gerade mit dem einen Kabel? Das kam jetzt erst runter da hinten. Wie kommt? Ich schwöre, ich habe hier nirgendwo einen Zettel zu liegen mit dem Code drauf. Ich wusste nur noch, dass es die vier Zahlen sein müssen, aber nicht in welcher... Ja, Stanley, aber nicht in welcher Kombi. Ich now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Figler and Lorenz? Können wir bitte einfach bei... Wie war das? Stan Lorenz? Oder Figlerin bleiben? Figleys. So, Figleys. Figleys oder Stan Lorenz? Ich weiß nicht, ob der sich dabei... Sel der musste sich wahrscheinlich selber dabei zuhören. Notgedrungen. Die bessere Frage ist, wer hat diesen Text eigentlich alles geschrieben und hat derjenige sich das auch wirklich mal durchgelesen vorher? Der arme Sprecher musste es ja nur ablesen. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Ja. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Ja, mein Eimer. Ich fahre wieder hoch. Mit Eimer. Wait, hey, das Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Was? Nummer drei? Was ist mit der Nummer drei? Passiert etwas, wenn ich die Nummer drei drücke? Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three. Oh, well, he said, the number three is such a special button. I'm having the time of my life. Yeah. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Wie kann man jemals genug von der Nummer drei haben, wenn man auch noch so einen tollen Eimer als Begleitung hat? Äh, ich, M35, hatte gekichert wie ein kleines Kind, als ich das erste Mal ihn Figley sagen hörte. Mein Hirn wollte es einfach falsch verstehen. Ja, das ist ja dann, ähm... Figley klingt schon besser als Dan Lorene. <lacht> Muss ich ja zustimmen. Und natürlich dachtest du dabei an Feigen. Wer etwas anderes denkt, thecorrupt.de, der äh, möchte dir nur böse Sachen unterstellen. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Aber kann man jemals die Nummer drei oft genug gedrückt haben? Kann ich nochmal hochfach? <lacht> kann ich nochmal die Nummer drei drücken? No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing.
Wie kann der Ei? Sollte der Eimer auch etwas sagen können? Er hat ja keinen Mund. Oh, ich kann nicht runter. Muss ich erst... Okay, ich muss erst hier raus. Ich muss wahrscheinlich erst noch ein paar Mal die Nummer 3... Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number 3 and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number 3 like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all, only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Eimer, ich bin enttäuscht von dir. In dem Fall unterstelle ich mir selber... Ja, keine Ahnung, was du dir dann selber unterstellst. Du könntest einfach sagen, ja, es stimmt, ich habe an Feigen gedacht dabei. <lacht> und sind wir nicht alle ein bisschen Internet geschädigt im Endeffekt? Stanley und der Bucket waren so close. Sie haben immer da für einander gewesen. Warum konnte der Bucket plötzlich nicht mit dieser Passion von Stanley verbinden? Die Frage hat Stanley gesagt, den ganzen Weg durch den Elevator zu gehen. Er wusste, dass es eine Weile sein muss, um den Bucket zu gelangen, um zu kommunizieren mit seinem Freund zu kommunizieren. Sicherlich gab es eine Lösung, muss es nicht sein? Ich kenne dieses Internet doch auch nicht, Paula. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Das ist doch Neuland. Soll ich nochmal hochfahren? <lacht> Klar, warum nicht? Einmal geht noch. Okay. Anscheinend nicht. Ich müsste ja lügen, wenn ich behaupte, an Feigen gedacht zu haben. Stanley, I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. Ja. Warum auch nicht einfach mal wieder eine Pressekonferenz abhalten hier? Äh, und außerdem Corrupt, es weiß ja keiner, dass du dann For months he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it, until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. The Stanley Parable Stanley. Tonight, live on stage. Two stage. Drei, 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 drei. Oder, äh... Einfach nur gekrakel. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. Drei, 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 drei. Three, that's the magic number. Yes, it is. <lacht> ah, warte mal, was steht da? Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. Your co-workers. Okay, denk dran, wo du hergekommen bist. Dann einmal erkläre ich dir jetzt die wunderbare Magie der drei. Und zwar ist das so. There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak. To listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. But he was unloved, uninteresting, he was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, The two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit, 
only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Ja, ich gehe ja schon in die Finsternis, weil ich hier hingehöre. Danke für deine Anteilnahme, Paula. Das weiß ich sehr zu schätzen. 